Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of. We're going to see what this person has on their mind when it comes uh, when it comes to you. So apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So let's get started here for Virgo. Tell me about Virgo and their person in love. We're going to start with some Oracle messages and then we'll get into the tarot here, okay? So we have... Union and in sync, working in perfect rhythm with each other, feeling seen, heard, valued, respected, and cherished, fully presented with that person, fully present with that person, mind, body, and spirit here. We have magical and powerful new beginnings and alignment, taking action towards destiny, creative of your own reality through powerful powers of manifesting here. This person could be 28 years old, okay, that you're dealing with here. So there is a new beginning in love. Okay, what I'm feeling here. And I feel like it's leaning towards commitment here. Here's the thing. You know, not all relationships are perfect here, but I feel like, you know, eventually, you know, you guys are going to go some, through, you guys are going to go through some ups and downs. Like, I feel like you guys are going to grow and heal together here. Okay, grow, heal, evolve, um, evolve and, you know, and transcend any sort of karmic debts that might come up between you and your person here, okay? Uh, with Scorpio here, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, okay? You might have Scorpio in your chart. So I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person can be very intense, okay? Uh, or that this connection can be intense between you and your person here. Tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with here. What is on the mind of this person that Virgo is dealing with here? For December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo, for Virgo here. So Virgo with the Eight of Cups here and the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there is new love that's entering into your life here, okay? And like I said, I feel like you are in perfect union and in sync with this person. Okay, could be dealing with a Scorpio, like I said, or Cancer or Pisces here. We also have Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Seven of Wands. So this connection will bring in some sort of peace and balance into your life here. I do feel like this person can be trusted. You know, I do feel like this is an individual here that will fight for you or that this person will stand up for you here or that this person will defend you. What else do we have? Eight of Cups. And Justice, Libra Energy. Lisa Pentacles, and also the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person might have fire energy in their chart, okay? Um, yeah, I do feel like this is an individual here that will commit to you here too. I do feel like you will have a committed relationship with this person. This person will move towards you, you know, will move towards the future here with you. Here's the thing, you know, I do feel like, you know, when this person does, when you do come across this individual here, this person's going to start to become very obsessed with you. Like, in a way, I feel like this person has never met anyone like you before. We have double Capricorn energy, we have temperance here, and the Nine of Swords. And also the Seven of Wands. And the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. My only concern with this individual here, that this person can be very in and out and very flighty here, okay? Um, but yeah, I do feel like, you know, there is someone new that's coming into your life, for sure. Perhaps it will cause this person to make some changes in their life so that you guys can have a happy and harmonious and balanced relationship here. What else do we have? Outcome and advice. What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on? For December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For 
Virgo. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. We have the Nine of Wands. That's not the Nine of Wands, that's the Six of Wands. <laughs> the Five of Swords. And the Ten of Swords, and we have the Eight of Pentacles here. What do you guys need to know? Look out for work on here. Okay. Tell me the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Okay. What you don't know about this person here is this person's coming in with a lot of burdens here too. But I feel like, you know, with the High Priestess here and the, uh, and the Four of Wands, this person knows that you are the one for them. Yeah, this person knows that you are the one for them. Like I said, I feel like it's not going to be complete roses and diamonds here and butterflies and unicorns here. Like, I feel like this will be a healthy relationship, but I feel like you guys will go through something here and I feel like you guys will stick together here. Okay, the Six of Wands and the Four of Swords. Five of Swords and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. Ten of Swords. And also the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And the Eight of Pentacles, and also the Nine of Cups. So, I do feel like your connection here between you and your person here will go through healing and a deep spiritual transformation here. Like I said, you know, I do feel like the situation that you're stepping into could be very triggering for you, for you guys both. But I actually see healing and growth happening here. You know, I see lessons being learned here. You know, I see, I see growth here. Let's see what else we have. The King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And we have the King of Cups and the Moon card, Cancer, Pisces here. Someone here is also stepping into their fears here. Or someone here is like, you know, facing something has, that has been hidden from them here. Okay. It could be that both of you guys could be stepping into that energy where you guys could be doing some sort of shadow work here or some sort of deep night of the uh, dark night, uh, some sort of dark night of the soul. And I feel like you guys are doing this together, you know, because we have union in sync. So anything that occurs, you guys are going to stick together here and overcome this here together, okay? So let's see. What else do we have? Tell me this union in, in sync. We have the King of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy, and also the Hermit here. Yeah, I do fully feel like, you know, there are some stuff that you guys will have to go through here together in order for you guys to achieve some sort of commitment here, you know, or some sort of staying together. Um... So, you know, I do, you know, like I said, I feel like every, re like, relationships are not easy, right? You know, I, it takes two to tango, it takes two to make it work, but if you guys stick together, and if there are any issues that arise, if you guys work together on healing it, you know, I feel like you guys will be fine here, Virgo. What else do we have? The Fool, Aries Energy. And also the Page of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy. It will start off as kind of like a bit of a friendship before it, it takes off. But, you know, I do feel like, you know, there will be a lot of passion here between you and your person. There will be a lot of sexual energy here, too. And I feel like how you will meet this person. Some of you guys could be meet, meeting this person at a wedding or a family gathering here or some sort of holiday gathering. Okay. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.